Well, good afternoon. We're here at Henson Creek School Country Living, and we had gathered some sumac before, and now we're gonna cook some and make like a lemonade. So we're gonna learn how to cook on an open fire out here. So let's get started. Here's our pot, and what we need to do is create two stacks of rocks so that our pot will be up like this and then the fire will be right underneath. So you all can help me gather some, some flat rocks. That's a little too small. Keep it level. Yeah, that can go over this, right? That can be like a blueprint. Actually, let's not use this black one because that has some oil in it and it, it may start on fire. So, it should work. What about this one here? This one's pretty big. Uh, no, that, I think we've got a high enough stack here. here. And then, so we just put the spider. Okay, see how they they wobble a yeah. little bit? Let's add a few small stones. I think it's right here. I see it. It's right here. Where that thing is. Yeah. And then I'm just going to hammer it in. There we go. See how that one yeah, rocks? That Let's add a few pieces in there. Oh, it's right here. Okay, good. That's I'm happy. Here. Okay. 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 Okay, would one of you girls like to cut some of that? Just cut it short pieces about that long. Okay. That's good. Rachel, you can break some off to the uh, smaller pieces. Uh, it's coming around on this side. All right, I just use the matches. Okay, good. Matches don't make a fire. Would you like some big logs too? Uh, not right now. Okay. Can I try that? Can I get control of it? Yeah. This is C 
cedar that has dried out, eastern red cedar. And it has a little bit of oil in it. And it Jeremiah, take that to Titus, please. Jeremiah, can I have the matches, please? Oh, thank you. Here's me. Yes. All right. Thank you, Jeremiah. Can you try that, Rebecca? You can, I don't know if it catches on the video, but it's kind of spitting on us a little bit. So you'll get to see how well the cedar starts, even though it's slightly damp. It rained almost all afternoon yesterday. And then these branches were out there and they had a chance to dry out a little bit. And, uh, amazing the oil that's in here that just helps it burn so well. So we're putting the real fine pieces at the bottom and then now Lazarus is putting little bigger pieces on the top. Okay. Let's not put wet leaves in there. Okay. All right, well, before Can I start it? Before we start it, what do you think we should do? We should pray again. Yes, we should pray because we don't want anybody getting burned or anybody getting hurt. And we really should have started off with that because we were using that loppers there. Yeah. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much that we have an opportunity to learn a new skill today. We ask that you would keep us safe while we're lighting the fire, while we're using the loppers to cut with. Please send your Holy Spirit to be the teacher here. Teach each one of us. And we ask you would help us to be able to make this lemonade. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, who would like to start the fire? Me. Okay. Why don't you come on this side? Just like the needles. Put it down below there. Mm -hmm. the very bottom. Hmm, this one's not starting. There you go. There Okay, Lazarus, you can cut some more of the ones that are a little bit bigger. What 
song does this fire make you think of? It makes me think of the song. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. Won't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Ashley's doing it all up and coming down. <laughs> I'm just sprinkle now. Yep. Okay. Rachel and Rebecca, would you like to go get the sumac that's over there and we'll put some in the pot here? See, this is the wet stuff here. Mm -hmm. Right. Wow, that looks beautiful. That is not poisonous. <laughs> um, so we'll let uh, you have a close up at the sumac here. So in the fall, it'll have these red berries that are full of vitamin C. It tastes kind of like lemon. And uh, there, there is a poison sumac, but it will have like three leaves, like a poison ivy. You can see how these leaves have a main stem and then they have all these coming out. So this is definitely different than the poison sumac that will give you a rash like poison ivy. You want one, Jeremiah? Yes, please. Yes, please. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. Wow. You want to try some sour? Something sour? Can I try some? Give you your vitamin C for the day. Yeah, definitely. Very sour. Definitely like unripe grapes. <laughs> Very sour. Yeah, it's definitely like unripe grapes. Yeah, definitely like unripe grapes. The sumac burn? Uh, it would if you put it in there. Can I try? Yeah, you can. It's just sizzling. Yeah, it's catching fire now. It's interesting. I never tried burning it before. Yeah, I was thinking maybe it would get off a chemical reaction because it's so sour, but as elderberry and sumac, if you put it together, it makes a chemical reaction. It makes the color bright red. Kind of like a bright pink. Oh, yeah, I want oh, to. Yeah, bright pink. More. Yeah, it does burn. Yeah, we were experimenting with elderberries, and I had some elderberry that had been crushed, and it was on my finger, and then I was handling some sumac. The elderberry is kind of like a deep purple color, and then when I was touching the sumac, it turned my fingers like bright, bright pink. Really, really bright pink. So it's it's some kind of reaction between the two. I want to try to try to use a, make a spark by using flint and steel again. Okay, so we're gonna take these and put them in the water. You gotta saw it. 
We don't want to put any leaves in here, just only the berries. You want to put them in for me? I'm not a stainless steel knife, so I can't get it. Can I put that one in? All right. Looks good. Okay. Should we put, put oh, look, it's going out. Uh, it's not going out. It's just taking a little while to burn. Um, we'll put a little bit more wood on the fire. And then, uh, you want to put that lid on for me? And then, uh, thank you. We'll put a little more wood on our fire, and then we will put the pot on. Yeah, we can. Just move around. As the wind blows, it blows it in different directions. So just rotate around. Yeah. One good thing about the smoke is uh, mosquitoes don't like it. So if you stay pretty close to the smoke, mosquitoes should stay away from you more. What do you think the fire needs to make it burn more brightly? Probably more wood. More heat. It, it needs some wind. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can make some. Or some extra air. There was a man named Nicodemus, and he went to talk to Jesus at nighttime, and Jesus told him that the wind blows, and you, can you see the wind? No. No? But can you see the effects of the wind? Yeah. Yes. So Jesus said that was like how the Holy Spirit is. We cannot see the Holy Spirit, but we can see the effects in our life. So maybe our life is like the fire, that's just kind of dying down, dying out. But if we ask the Holy Spirit to come into our life, just like we we put some wind into that fire, we put some air into that fire, then it came to life. In the same way, if, if our life is kind of dead, we ask Jesus to come into our life and send the Holy Spirit, then our life can come up into flames and we can burn brightly again for Jesus. We can go from burning out to burning bright. Mm. We can go from dying down to coming alive through the power of the Holy Spirit. Lazarus, if you ask uh, your mom to give you an egg to eat, mm -hmm. would she say, here, Lazarus, Eat that. No. Would she do that? Why not? Because she loves me. Because she loves you. So, Jesus said, which one of you, who, if your son asks for an egg, will you give him a stone? Scorpion. Or a scorpion or a snake? No. He said, no, you wouldn't do that. He said, if you are evil fathers and you know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more would the Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? So, our Father in Heaven, He wants to give us good gifts. He really does. So, if we ask Him, He'll give us good gifts. If parents here that are evil and that do wrong things, that are not good parents, if they can give good gifts to their children, how much more would our Father in Heaven give us the Holy Spirit when we ask Him? Thank you.
Not at. Well, there was a lady named Jill that came to visit us from Indiana to spend Sabbath with us yesterday, and she gave Lazarus that little chair. It was a Lady good gift. Uh, thank you, Jeremiah. Would you like to put the stick on the fire? Would you like to put the stick on the fire? Yes, I'll try to help you. You want to put it on? Drop it. There you go. Good job. I am not a third person, did you know? Oh, you have another one to put on the fire. Stop it. There we go. Good. Yeah. Um, some people do the teepee method for their fire, but the way that this is with the rocks and everything, the TV might be too high for our pot, so we're just kind of laying them down flat. Um, this long one here will burn through in the middle, and then later we'll come back and we'll push the ends in, and then that way it can, it can burn again. Lazarus whittled himself a walking stick there. Yeah. How do you help me? Like he carved this, my initials in here. That was a fun project. Yeah. All right, who would like to put the pot on the fire? Me. Okay. Okay, looks good. I that smoke got in my eye again. Yep. Okay, we'll let it cook for a while and then later we'll come back and add some honey and we'll try it out. And we'll see how homemade uh, sumac lemonade tastes. If it was dry, these leaves could catch on fire and spread out. We really don't want to do that. So um, just to keep us in the habit of it, we will rake away anything that we think might be flammable. We're also going to put some stones here to keep in the heat. Might block the air. Oh, uh, we should have them up there. There you go. Yep. Fire safety is very important. If we're careless with fire, we could burn down somebody's home accidentally that it took them years to save up and build. Yeah. So 
we want to be careful whenever we're building a fire that we're responsible and not careless. And once this burns over here, it should just go out and it'll turn to ashes. Okay, I guess we'll, we'll just uh, have to wait a, about a ooh, probably two hours before it's cooked. Got it about filled up. Okay. okay. Well, we got it. It boiled for a while. So we'll take this stuff out. Can't wait to taste it. Yeah. Can I just dip my glass in there? I'll pour it. Okay. Go ahead. I wonder, is it a different color? Uh, you'll see the color. I'm excited. It's more like a purple pink. Yeah, it's kind of like a, I guess like a red lemonade, maybe. Yeah. Color on it. Mm. All right. Red lemonade. Thank you. Hey, Titus, how's it going? What in the world is going on here? Ah, uh, we just boiled some sumac to make like a lemonade. Mm. Really good. You want to try some? Oh, this is going to be great. This is Victor. He's a neighbor of mine about a mile away from here. Oh, that's good. I don't, oh, that's good. I don't want to get too much of this stuff. <laughs> it's really good. It smells mm. epic. Wow. It's a little on the sour side. It is. I think more honey would be needed in it. <laughs> I bet Jeremiah would like it. It is just a little bit too much sourness. Don't take one of those. Titus, you got a spoon somewhere? Yep. You can just grab it out. It's just crispy. No, we don't want to get buddy's nasty germs. <laughs> what does Rebecca think? She's getting a wine too. <laughs> dissolve a little bit yeah we gotta stir it up you know there's honey down here at the bottom that's crystallized and so we gotta let it dissolve to get all the sugars it's really good you want to try some stephanie i'll try rebecca's jeremiah you want to try some <laughs> mm. it'll about turn your mouth inside out yeah Oops. It's sour. <laughs> it's like a fruit juice, kind of. It is, actually. We should save that. Mm. Wow. I want get a little your, more. Get your dose of vitamin C today. Yep, don't need those Sour Puff Kids candy. <laughs> this is sour enough. You don't need Sour Patch Kids. So. That's what it is. <laughs> you don't need Sour Patch Kids. Can I try kids. another? <laughs> This is really good. Heaven. Heaven at your tongue. <laughs> mm. yeah, heaven will be much better than that. Yeah. Whoops. Doesn't taste like sour grapes anymore. So you think the flavor changed? Or I guess without honey it does taste like that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Which now, I missed this whole process of bowling it, of cooking it. Wow. You'll have to fill me in. <laughs> we just harvested the sumac head and put, a bit, put it in there. And then we built this rocks on either side, started a fire there, and then it was boiling pretty, pretty soon. Wow. Now, we've had some soup or something or another. We just got out of the of the garden and and put it over the fire. And I've helped Titus do something like this, but we've never did anything quite like this. But we've we've made food over the fire before, and it was pretty good. Did mm -hmm. you really? Mm-hmm. What did you make? Oh, uh, it was a mixture of carrots and zucchini and squash and potatoes and stinging nettles and it was, and kale oh it was the best now one time i was real busy and i told victor hey cook us something so he went out <laughs> in the garden and he harvested a bunch of stuff and made us a fire and cooked the supper it was real good <laughs> i think i remember that yep. does anybody want you want some more rebecca you want more you want more victory? No, I think I'm good. Yeah, I had enough Sour Patch Kids for tonight. <laughs> Better than Sour Patch Na Natural <laughs> Sour Patch Kids. Liquefied natural Sour Patch Kids. Well, I, I can't say how it tastes compared because I never had Sour Patch Kids. I, never, I don't think I ever had them. I don't know. Maybe I did, actually. It's good to never have them. <laughs> it rots your teeth out. Uh, I think I did have they're them. They're kind of raunchy. Hot ashes under there. See how the ashes blowing up? Mm -hmm. You're going to get in your cup. Well, I'm are. glad the ashes went over that way instead of into the pot. <laughs> well, they got in my glass. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about it, Tyus? I like it. I love it. Yep. I like it. That like a sour lemonade. What's the beer? Next time we cook sumac tea. I'll, just, I'll have this already set up. And we can just set it on fire and boom. Yep. Well, if we get lots of rain, <laughs> it'll wash all this out. Well, hopefully... We don't get too much rain. I cut hay for uh, Thursday, and so I hope it don't rain too much. We need too much yeah. rain. If, uh, well, I mean over time. Yeah. <laughs> Stay out of the water, please. Come here, Jeremiah. You want to sit down? Picture, would you hand me the lid to the Keep it is the, sure. is the hey, you sit down ash, here? are the ashes still a little hot? Oh, Jeremiah. Mm. Careful, down? Jeremiah. They're not real hot. A little bit. Hot, Jeremiah. Stay back. Yep. Are they hot? There's a couple hot ambers. If uh, you stick your toe in there, it might get a little scorched. <laughs> Well, thank you all for helping me cook this uh, delicious concoction. Well, I didn't do much, Titus. You know, I just tasted it. I tasted it. I well, was I was the test man. I was the tester. We, we need taste, taste testers. Tester. Yeah. Yeah, we do need taste testers. That's why God made our taste bud. Mm -hmm. Hot. Yep. Hot. Yep. Wanna eat the honey that's in there, Victor? <laughs> Good sour. <laughs> you want some more? Jeremiah? Did he have some? He tasted a little. You want some more, Jeremiah? He does better with a straw. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I have a straw. 
I can look. I have one in the truck I can go grab. Titus is too prim um, I forget that word. primitive to have straws. We have silicone straws. They're washable. <laughs> Which one do you want? The water or the sumac tea? Is it this one? Is it good? Hmm? He is. <laughs> he is drinking Let's that stuff. Was it good? <laughs> he was. He was <laughs> sour. <laughs> He was drinking that stuff. <laughs> Damn. Is it good? <laughs> Let's take a break. Let's take a breather. <laughs> he, he ain't worried about breathing. He's worried about drinking. <laughs> take another break. He shouldn't be real thirsty. Does he like sour things? Well, he was eating the... The uh, sumac, sumac clean till oh. it till it, it till it here he was eating the sumac tree till it ran bare. Uh. <laughs> That's how much he was eating. Don't cough your guts out. <laughs> did it go down the wrong pipe? Probably did. <coughs> That's why we take breaks. <laughs> yes. Can we take another break? Before you cough again? Man, he is taking that stuff down like a champ. He probably wants another one. He, he's taking that stuff down better than what I ever would. It took me a little bit to drink all of mine. It was a little much. All right, all gone. Can he have another, can he have another glass? No, we don't want him to get a bellyache. That's that pretty good, good huh? You like the homegrown sumac guys, here? You guys can probably make that at home, right, Stephanie? Yeah, if we go to that tree and get some more. Yeah. <laughs> There's more on that bush over there. Hey, I have a whole row There's of sumac trees. Sumac. I have a whole row of sumac trees down there by my place. Do you want them? Go get them. I don't <laughs> really well. Mm. I'm going to pull them out with the skitter here soon. So. I don't think it's a very stable, Lazarus. The yeah. chair folded up. Watch out. Oh. There, you go. there you go, bub. Mm -hmm. Yes, Let, let's sing from Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee, He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, from the fowler's snare, and from the noisome pestilence, He shall deliver thee, O God, my God. In him will I trust. He shall cover, he shall cover thee with his feathers. And under his wing shalt thou trust. Under his wing shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thy buckler, Psalms 91, 1 through 7. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. 
nor for the noisome pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth that noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come to thee, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all of thy ways. Psalms 91, 11. Okay, let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much that you gave us sumac and you gave us water and you gave us wood and fire to be able to make this delicious treat full of vitamin C. We ask that you would keep us all healthy and well, that we could serve you. Please forgive us of our sins and give us a heart to always choose you and your way. In this dark world that we live in, help us to remember that we can be under your protection and we can trust even when everything in the world is blowing apart. We can trust in you. Please keep each one of us this evening. Help us to sleep well and wake us up tomorrow ready for a new day. We thank you and we ask in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen.